this is Connie and I am here with a collab for you and it is our favorite perfumes and I have let's see one two three four five six seven eight of them I don't know if there was a limit on this or not <clears throat> and it's from my group um, called ladies who collab and I love all these girls and I will link everybody else's videos below this and please, um, if you like this kind of stuff, please give us all thumbs ups. Check out, check out the other ladies and share the videos. Um, sharing doesn't cost you a cent. It, you know, it just helps us out a little bit. So thank you so much for coming and joining me and the other ladies. <clears throat> Excuse me. The other ladies today and get started. I have got a whole page of stuff that I downloaded about each of these and I will tell you about them. All right, so the first one I've got is um, from Scentbird, and this one is called Clean Skin, and I have used quite a bit of this. It smells just like it sounds, actually. <laughs> it tell you what it says here. It says this fragrance captures the delicate skin of or scent of bare skin. Hints of dewy flower petals wrap around notes of pure creaminess and warm musk to evoke the simple scent of touchable skin. Enticing, fresh, pure, clean skin at its best. And this, oh my gosh, this, it does smell like you just stepped out of the shower. It, this is the kind of scent that I like. I like clean, fresh scents. And you're going to notice a, you know, most of my stuff smells just like that. So anyway, this is, um, what did I say this? Oh, it's by Clean, and it's called Skin. So that's number one. Number two is Clinique Happy, and that's from um, Scentbird 2, which a lot of these are, but um, I have three of the, the deals, and this the other ones come in just a, like a cardboard tube. And this is Clinique Happy. And I just really started on this one. I haven't used it much. I try to use up some of my others before I get started on those. And Clinique Happy, it tells me that it's a hint of citrus, a wealth of flowers, a mix of emotions. Clinique's best-selling best women's fragrant interplays fresh, vibrant notes. Ruby red grapefruit, bergamot, with soft sensual ones, Hawaiian wedding flower, spring mimosa, and wear it and be happy. Okay, the next one is Marc Jacobs, and I have a lot of his. This one is Honey, and I have not really started on that one yet. I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to use up my other ones first. And Marc Jacobs Honey tells me that it's sweet, sassy, sunny. Honey Eau de Par Parfum by Marc Jacobs is a sunny, delicious floral, energetic and alluring with sparkling golden touch. The perfect mix of brightness and warmth, now in pen spray, which is like this. All right, the next one is Daisy, and this was my first one that I got. And uh, sadly, I'm just about done with it. I'm so sad about that because I do love this. This was the first time I ever went to um, Ulta and I bought this. This was back then. It was like two years ago or maybe even three. It cost uh, $21, I believe. And I don't know if it's what it costs now. But I've been very sparse with this. It's one of my favorites, so it, I use it for special occasions. So anyway, Daisy Dream... No, no, this is just Daisy, I'm sorry. Uh, Marc Jacobs' Daisy is a fresh, light-hearted floral scent featuring notes of violet leaf, jasmine, gardenia, and white woods. The next one is another scent burn. And this one is Marc Daisy oh, oh So Fresh Sorbet. And this one is trying to put them away sorry Marc Jacobs presents new limited flankers of the fragrances Daisy and Daisy Oh So Fresh as sorbet editions 
Sorbet editions are promising, colorful, delicate, and fresh scents. Daisy Oso Fresh Sorbet is also created by Richard Herpin, which I don't know who that is. The top notes are mandarin, apple blossom, and lotus. The heart is composed of magnolia, jasmine, and violet, delicate and creamy woods, and musk from the base of the perfume, form the base of the perfume. It is available as, never mind. And it's also made in France, it says. Okay, so Daisy Dream is also Scentbird. And I have not even started using this one yet, because I want to use up my Daisy first. I'm very careful how I use these. <laughs> okay, which I shouldn't be. You know, I should just go ahead and use them. So Daisy Dream, with striking notes of blackberry, blue wisteria, and coconut water, Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs is an irresistible mix of elegance and femininity. Okay, and that's it for my Marc Jacobs. So my next, oh my gosh, I love this. And I this was like 20-some dollars too. And this is Philosophy's Pure Grace. This smells so good, you can see. I've also been very careful with this one because Daisy and this one are my favorites. These are my two favorites. And <clears throat> so I'm pretty careful with it. All right. Pure, crisp, clean. Philosophy's Pure, Pure Grace Spray representative. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Represents clean, modern simplicity. It is a universal scent that will change the way you feel about fragrance. Pure, crisp, and infinitely clean. The fragrance opens with a veil of water lily for subtle freshness. The heart has a simple modern tones of leafy greens and lasting frosted musk brings for a clean modern finish. Infinitely clean and universal fragrance. Fresh and simple scent. Feel like you just stepped out of the shower. Change your mood by changing your fragrance. And again, that is Pure Grace. I love this one. And this one here I got, I can't remember, I got it in a box. Was it one of Beauty Cons, maybe? Anybody else have any of these that they don't like? They could send it my way because I love this. This is um, Le, Fa Le Soft Perfume, Le Rain Soleil. I, I'm sure that I probably murdered that. But let me tell you about that. Lorraine Solel is the olfactory version of a little ray of sunshine. Notes. Lemon, bergamot, vanilla, patchouli, musk, honey, lang lang, and heliotrope. And what it is, it comes in a thing like this. It is a just like a like a stick. Oh my God, it smells so good. I love this stuff. Mmm. It smells so good. And I know some people don't like that kind of stuff, so if you don't want yours, I'll take it. <laughs> I absolutely love that. So, the, folks, that is my favorite perfumes. I have eight of them. Most of them were, were Marc Jacobs because I, I love his perfumes. Um, with the philosophy and the the Le Soft thrown in, and a Clinique. So if you like any of these, let me know what you think of them. Um, if you like the same kind of scents as I do, if you have any recommendations, I will sure take that too because I'm always up for new new scents and I love perfume. Um, I, I forget to wear it some days, you know, but most of the time I wear it. And I'm very careful about how much I use, you know, because... Um, I know that a lot of older ladies, like me, um, use a little bit too much. So I'm very careful about how much I use. I only do like one spray or just a little bit behind my ears and in my decote. Um, so if you like this kind of thing, please give me a like. Um, give the rest of the ladies a like and share this video. I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.